now that we've got through the controversial stuff, we get on to Paul giving Timothy some instructions about choosing leaders for the church. He describes bishops and deacons. The word for bishop is episkopos, which means someone with oversight. So in the church, this would be somebody who looks after multiple communities or congregations. Whoever wants to be a bishop wants something good that doesn't have to be perfect. They simply have to be somebody who is above reproach, which Paul describes what it means to be married only once. The Greek for being a husband of only one wife is uh, gynaikos andra, meaning some, a man of one woman as in not polygamous or not unfaithful. In the 21st century, we understand that bishops can be women too, and so it would also just speak to someone who is faithful. The other descriptions of being somebody above reproach are general descriptions of somebody who's level-headed kind. Another interesting aspect is that they should be an apt teacher. Sometimes we are so impressed by people's ability to teach and preach that we neglect the rest of their lives and we employ them for their celebrity status. Paul is inviting Timothy to choose leaders who are quite boring, gentle, not quarrelsome, not loving money. People who look after their household. Also a reminder to us in the 21st century to look after our ministers, to make sure that we do not make unreasonable demands of their time and their energy so that they are able to still have good, healthy, loving relationships with their families. Timothy continues to remind us that if they don't know how to manage their own households, how can they take care of God's church? And so, as ministers, we also need to be strong leaders in terms of dividing our time between our churches and our families. Also, they should be well thought of by outsiders. People who are able to get along with Christians and non-Christians alike to make sure that the church is able to reach out to those who need to hear the good news. Let's pray. Lord, today we pray for leaders in our churches. We pray for class leaders, for Sunday school teachers, for cell group leaders and Bible study leaders. We pray for society stewards and office workers in the church. We pray for ministers and bishops and superintendents and ask, O oh Lord, that you would bless and keep them. Help the church to manage act its activities and demands in a way that helps our ministers and our people who lead us to have wholesome and thorough lives. And Lord, teach us as, as clergy, as congregations, not to want celebrity pastors, but just to want normal people who can walk alongside us in our growth with you. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.